Hi, Brentech here, where tech is made simple. Just a couple of days ago, I let you know that Fly OOBE 1.30 had been released. I'll leave the video linked. And already a couple of days later, we have version 1.31 that's now rolling out. And the developer is pushing out these updates for the popular Windows 11 bypass app and also a debloater and so on. The developer is pushing out the updates quite fast and furious, as I've mentioned previously. So just a quick overview as to what's going on with version 1.31. Now, first of all, I'm just going to use an image for the first new improvement that's rolled out, a GIF from the actual change log. The developer says that the OOBE installer has now been improved and expanded, where it's now possible to manually search and install app packages directly from the WinGet manifest using the new install custom WinGet package option. The feature it's mentioned is a bit more bare bones than UniGet UI, but intentionally lightweight to keep FlyOOB fast and efficient as it covers everything essential according to the developer. So the installer has been improved and expanded. That's the first key highlight for version 1.31. And then next up, they have leveled out the apps OOBE page, the debloater. So if we head to that, made a couple of improvements on this page and upgraded both the back end and UI for easier navigation, lightning fast app removal, it said, and smarter batch operations. So that's the apps OOBE page, the debloater that's been upgraded. And next up, it's mentioned that the navigation system that was introduced in the previous version has been refined, especially the way menus expand collapse and guide the user through the interface. So that's basically UI adjustments with that third key highlight. And next up, the personalization page apparently has been visually polished for a cleaner and more consistent look. And if we head up to the three dotted menu to the top right, it's mentioned that there's a new login activity manager that's been added, as we can see, which is accessible from the three dotted menu, which the developer says allows you to monitor all Fly OOBE operations and notifications in one place. Next to it, the settings and about app buttons are now separated into their own dedicated menus. And I think that's a nice move. And then next up is if we head to the experience page, apparently it's mentioned that this page has been cleaned up and they've removed the issues section, which according to the developer is now partially covered by the extensions and installer OOBE. Then just to mention the last two or three, the predecessor Flyby 11, on which this app, the developer says, was originally based a few versions ago, is no longer being promoted here. And it's also said that everything Flyby 11 could do is now fully integrated into Fly OOBE. And they've also rolled out minor fixes and improvements. So this is becoming quite a popular app as I've been posting on the channel. That's why I'm following it and doing dedicated videos for it. And I'll leave the GitHub repository link down below where you can download Fly OOBE if you so wish. So that's what's new in version 1.31. And I'm sure we'll get more updates over the coming days. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.